It is Luis Sessa who gets the start. He's coming off his longest start of his career. He's got to be a little juiced up. One day closer. In the air to right, Jake Fraley. I love the weather. Oh, I, I love I, being I was at the. Say one day, one day closer to Christmas morning. Swing and a miss. Luis Sessa gets three the pitches. first two quickly. Payoff pitch. Strike three called. Got him looking. Slider on the outside corner. This time got it over the plate. Got the call. And down on strike, say, is Suzuki. 25 year old right hander Javier Assad to the mound tonight. 3 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Good sinking fastball, it looked like. And India is out number one. He has. Fraley opposite way. Base hit. Hard ground ball up the middle into center. Freely turns and holds. Throw to second. Tag late. Base hit former. And a 2 2. And that one out of bounce could be two. There's one. And there's two. Twin killing. Reds don't score. 1 1 pitch to Reyes is on the ground of the shortstop. Up with it, Ferrero. And the peg across in time to Solano to get Reyes side retired. It's a 1 2 3 second for Luis Sessa. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Stuart Fairchild waits. Here it comes. And a swing and a miss. And Assad gets the strikeout. And the one two to steer. Swing and a miss. A strikeout for Assad. He's home, the payoff pitch. And Siani rips a line drive into right field, a base hit. Solid single to right by Siani. And that's his fourth big league hit. And the pitch to Barrero. Big chop to third, one hop to Wisdom. He'll go the short way to second. There's the force. That's the inning as the Reds do not score. Rebos will take his base. First batter to reach. Sessa back to the dish. Breaking ball. Strike three. Right over the outside corner. Two down. Line drive to India. And that will end the Cubs third. Bottom of three coming up. Reds Cubs. We are scoreless. Here comes the one two. A swing and a pop fly shallow right. Suzuki comes in and makes the catch. Lifted to left. Ian Happ is there. And the Reds go one, two, three. We go to the fourth inning. Well, Cubs checking, Patrick. Contreras drives one in the air. Deep center back toward the wall. That ball is gone. Wilson Contreras with a home run. And the Cubs lead one to nothing. Contreras goes yard for Wilson, number 22. One nothing Cubs. This is a bullet hit off the bat of Contreras. RBI number 55 for Contreras, but the Cubs get on the board. Popped up, Rebos wandering into foul territory, and Fonzie makes the catch. And Javier Assad has been razor sharp. <laughs> Here's the payoff. Swing and a miss. Nice job by Sessa battling back from a 3-0 count. As Rebos chops this ball to first, fielded flip to the pitcher. Sessa and he'll field it and it'll be the end of the inning. Reds have Ian Jabot up in the bullpen and David Bell strolls out. He came up with something on his leg and there you see him going down the steps. That was him coming back and he's had a calf issue. I don't know if that's what it is. Technically as much time as he wanted to warm up because it was an injury to Sessa. Payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out with a high changeup. Payoff pitch. Strike three called. Got him looking. Into the back to right center. Call and catch Michael Ciani. It's the it's the offer I made. Over short, base hit. This is exciting. Matt Reynolds can really hit the ball well to right. Payoff. Down, so Fraley's on. And that's going to bring up Kyle Farmer. A good outing for Assad. He does, however, leave very much up in the air. He can win. He could have no decision, but since he leads by only one with two men on base, he also yeah. could be the losers. Cubs lead one to nothing, and now let's see if Keegan Thompson can maybe serve up some kind of a double play ground ball. On the 3-1 pitch, off the inside corner, ball four. Thompson back to work. And a swing and a miss. Struck him out. Popped up. Kiros under it, and he's got it, and Keegan Thompson gets out of the jam. Argo Cubs and Wrigley Field. Horner cracks one in the air, deep left field. It's got a chance. Gone. Yeah, flex it. Flex it, Nico. 
Next round number he gets to 10 on the season. If I had one more question for hitting coach Greg Brown I would say hey what's the ceiling for Nico in terms of power. But we'll save that for another day. Three two to Barrero and he'll take it up high ball four a two out walk by Thompson. Barehanded approach no batting lows which is hard fly ball to right field over the right field wall home run Chucky Robinson we have a tie game two to two here in the bottom of the seventh inning and now the outs they don't matter quite as much that is the swing we were looking for in the home run inning opposite way second homer for Chucky Robinson you know, the rookie's been a little over 100 in his batting average and he has had his share of squared up outs line drive smashes and he gets one to carry that evens it up the pitch to Contreras wrapped on the ground base hit left field past a diving Barrero Wilson reaches two outs in the eighth ground ball up the middle backhanded by Matt Reynolds bobbled and the Reds will not get the third out of the inning and David Bell goes to the bullpen to bring out bullpen ace Alexis Diaz in half soft pop fly to center field and Alex Alexis Diaz is going to come out and get the job done and let's see if he can come back nope that's high and outside ball four wraps this ball to center Morrell flying back it's over his head it's off the wall Fairchild loses the helmet windmill in third he races home and the Reds win they ripped his jersey off a smash to center by Spencer Steer and a walk off winner and this time gets a pitch right out over the plate and does it yet again just smoked to center field one hop the wall and it was over for Stuart Fairchild running from first base and that leadoff walk that leadoff walk so quickly especially with a tie game haunts you.